It is our own choice what kind of attitude do we wish to harbor. People complain to me, Swamiji, three days ago this person said this to me so I am miserable. Really? Three days ago somebody said something so you are miserable? Do you think it is reason enough to be miserable? There is the story of the girl who passed out of school and went to college for the first time. She was living in her hostel dormitory. After four months in the hostel, she wrote a letter to her mother. She said, Mommy, one month after I had been living in the dormitory, I got into trouble. I stole $50 from my roommate. And with that, I rented a motorcycle. Unfortunately, the motorcycle crashed into a lamppost and I suffered multiple fracture on my leg. But there was nothing to worry because there was this handsome doctor down the road. And he took me into his house to heal me. We got to become friends and we have decided to marry. The only problem is in the blood test there's a disease that shows up. I hope it gets cured before the child pops out. And we have to get married. After marriage, mummy, we shall be coming to stay at home because my husband-to-be has lost her job. And when he comes to stay with you along with me, I am sure you will enjoy his company, but I wish to warn you that he is from another religious tradition and he will keep trying to convert you. <laughs> the mother was practically pulling her hair. Then in the end she wrote, Mummy, actually, none of this is true. The only thing that is true is, I've got an F in algebra. <laughs> I wanted you to see it in the proper perspective. <laughs> what is perspective? Attitude. It could have been so much worse. Supposing you were born a few decades ago during the Second World War and you had to sit in the trenches and fight, then how would your attitude have been? There is always scope for improving our attitudes. Your attitude is in your hands. Choose the proper attitude. That attitude will have multiple impacts upon your life. It will impact your health. So many studies have been done. A Western philosopher called Norman Cousins has written a book, a famous book called The Anatomy of an Illness. He was diagnosed with leukemia, cancer of the blood. He decided, I will cure it with my attitude. Now, he went and got comedy movies from the store. And he saw them in succession, 500 comedy movies, and laughed and laughed and laughed. The consequence was that after a few months, his leukemia was cured, and he lived on for another 20 years. Studies have been done of centenarians who lived beyond 100 to determine what is the common factor amongst these. Is it the food they are eating, or is it their abstinence from alcohol, or is it the exercise they are doing? And the most common factor determined was their cheerful attitude. In other words, the attitude is impacting health. Just today I read a study 
there is you know in recent times medical science has created this new thing after laparoscopic surgery now they've got arthroscopic surgery minimally invasive surgery they put little instruments and little microscopes to see so one group of scientists they said is it really beneficial they did the placebo study a group of patients were done the actual surgery and a group of patients were done the surgery without anything being cured the whole sample was told look at random we are going to do this but you are not going to know which is the group which are the ones who are not actually being operated upon and their medical condition was studied at the end of two years the placebo group and the non placebo group they both had been cured to the same extent because the placebo group believed i will become all right and mind over matter the attitude worked in healing them so the attitude will give you the experience of joy or misery it will bless you with good health as well and it will impact your performance at work again let me tell you of interesting studies that have been done through the scientific viewpoint one double blind test was done in the double blind test a group of teachers they were told that you are specially competent so you are being chosen we are assigning to you specially brilliant children a group of children were told that you are competent in your performance you are being assigned to special teachers continue at the end of the year the performance of those children had outshone the performance of the rest of the group by 20 to 25% so the teacher said we are so competent that is why we have done so well they were told you are not specially competent you were just chosen at random <laughs> then the students must be so competent that's why they outperform no the students were also chosen at random but it was your attitude you were thinking that i am competent i am teaching special children your attitude changed the performance tests have been done 3000 executives were asked to tick off the reason why they dismissed their last three employees various options 17% were dismissed because they were corrupt another 18% were dismissed because of interpersonal problems another 19% were dismissed because they were disobedient and about 28% were dismissed because of lack of skills so the conclusion was that only 28% of the employees lacked skills which made them get dismissed and in the case of all the others it was the attitude so our inner attitude is so important